Okay, in this video I'm going to try to just introduce some basic uh, structural elements that you'll see in VEX. Um, you basically have two different flavors of um, uh, materials in VEX uh, when it comes to the structural components. You have aluminum and you have steel. And they have kind of different appearances. Um, the steel is slightly magnetic, you know, like if you use a refrigerator magnet or whatever, and the aluminum is not. Um, the steel is definitely heavier, you can tell that. Um, some people have told me that for some of the components, uh, the th steel is a little bit different thickness, I'm not sure. Um, as far as stiffness and strength go, I don't know. Uh, personally, I don't really see a big difference in, in strength or anything, but definitely in weight. Um, if you're trying to go with something lightweight, go with the aluminum. If you want to have something heavier, like on the bottom, uh, you know, at your chassis to keep it from your robot from tipping over, you might want to make it out of steel. But other than that, I can't really think of uh, many differences, except that the aluminum might be easier to work with. Okay, so one component you'll probably see a lot of in VEX and that you'll use a lot of is the, uh, the C-channel, the two-hole C-channel. Uh, it's a very common uh, element and it's very versatile. You'll probably want to use it for, uh, or you can use it for practically building anything. Uh, so where does it get its name? Well, uh, why do they call it C-channel? I really don't think it has anything to do with uh, building boats or undersea explor exploration. I think it has to do with its, uh, the shape of its cross section, which is like a C. So it has nothing to do with the ocean. The reason they call it two-hole C channel is just because you count the, the width here of two. Um, it has one on this side. Now it comes, when you, when you buy it, it'll come in two uh, basic lengths. Um, this is a 35 hole C channel and the 35 hole is counted along here. There's also a 25 hole version. Um, you'll notice that every five holes there's a notch, so that makes it pretty easy to kind of count if you're trying to line up stuff. Um, what's also nice about this is if you measure it, I think it comes in at about 17 and a half inches or something like that. Um, yeah, 17 and a half inches, which uh, means you can use a full length 35 hole C channel. Um, and to make like a chassis or something and still be under the 18 inch um, uh, limit uh, for the size of your robot. There's also something called a five hole C channel. Um, because it has five holes going this way, it still has one this way. It also has the notch every five holes. Um, I know this comes in 35 hole lengths. I don't know. If, I think it does also come in 25 hole lengths as well. Now, one thing you might notice is the hole pattern is a little bit different. Um, these holes will still overlap if you want to make something, you know, so you want to bolt one thing to another. That's one nice thing about most of the components in VEX. Um, it's great for making all sorts of things. You can cut this stuff down, obviously. To smaller pieces or even make your own brackets out of it. So it's very, very nice stuff. Okay. There's also the angle piece, sh shaped like an L. Um, it's two holes across on both sides. Those will line up with a normal piece of C channel. These are great for making things like chassis and that. You can get them to line up and, or in various different ways. Um, that's very useful. Another common element that's very useful, this also comes in aluminum and steel, like most of these other things. It's a it, This is called a bar. I think these only come in 25 hole lengths. Uh, it's fairly flexible, um, and it's, so it's good for like bending into little uh, strange shapes that m you might find useful. Um, it's not very strong, really, by itself, although it can be used for um, reinforcing uh, some of your structure. It's very, very good in tension. If you try to pull it apart, it's very strong. 
uh, not so good in, in compression. If you you know if you try to push it together this way, it really won't support much. So you don't you don't want to use it in compression, but tension it's very good for that. Plate. This is just flat plate. It's very useful also. Um, by itself, maybe not so stiff. Notice that it has a, a kind of a different hole pattern also. Um, but the nice thing about it is you can bend it into, it's kind of like the bar in a sense, you can bend it in all kinds of interesting shapes for scooping or holding game elements. Um, some packs you'll see like it comes already cut, something like that. This, this happens to be a steel piece. There are a number of different uh, other types of pieces too. Um, these are often called chassis rails. Um, you might see them in the clawbot kits and stuff like that. They have various uses. Um, if you don't have any of these, I wouldn't freak out. But um, these, these pieces here happen to be steel. Um, they, uh, I'm not really sure what their original use was, and I don't really see kids use them very much, but, um, except maybe the chassis rail parts, but, um, but they are out there, and if you don't have them, it's no big deal, but, uh, these are also available. There are the linear slide rails. These are steel. They're kind of heavy. Um, they're meant for the sliders, but you can also use them for structural components um, if you don't mind the heavy, the extra weight. And uh, but they they are pretty stiff, so if you need to stiffen up something, uh, they make a a nice stiffener. Vex also has an assortment of gussets, a variety of components that can hook onto things and sort of help uh, do some attachments. Like this little guy here, he's kind of good for making those kind of connections. Um, there's this uh, internal gusset, you can get that in there into like a piece of two hole C channel. And if you line up the hole nicely, then it can help you unite, join two pieces of C channel. But you might normally not be able to do that. Um, um, there are like the right angle pieces that just make it a little bit more convenient to join things at right angles like that. Or even the 45 degree gussets. Um, they can help you, uh, if you cut it right, you can get things to join at a 45 degree angle. There are also pieces like, like this uh, cross piece, cross gusset. Um, some sort of angle piece here, I guess for sliding something. I'm not really sure, I've never used that. Similarly, uh, this is like looks like some kind of linear gusset thing. Um, I've not used that either, so I'm not really sure what that's used for. But it, um, if you don't have any of these, don't freak out. Uh, you can practically do anything in Vex without these. It just it's just a nice thing to, to if you have half if you do have it laying around, um, it's something that you can can work with. These are probably the most useful in my opinion, but. Um, they're kind of expensive, so but there are plenty of other ways to join C channel together. Also, um, something that comes in handy are, are called standoffs. These are made out of aluminum. They are threaded on the ends here um, with an 832 thread on both ends. Uh, some of them, like the little ones, are threaded all the way through, so a screw can go all the way through. The longer ones tend to be threaded only part way down. So if you try to get a really long screw into these, you'll probably find that it just bottoms out and won't go any farther. So generally speaking, you have to kind of use a, a, a relatively small or medium-sized screw when you use these. These are go good for um, spacing things apart. Um, and they have a lot of uses. Um, kids use them for a lot of things. Now this thing is a uh, threaded coupler. It's an 832 thread. It can go in there like that. And so you can join two of these together or two or more if you just keep lining them up. And they'll just allow you to um, like extend that if you want to. Just make sure you have plenty of thread on both sides so that you're not just hanging there by a, a couple of threads and rip the thing out. Um, these are aluminum. They're softer than the steel screws. So you want to be, you know, you want you don't want to over tighten them or anything like that. You can damage these screws. 
I also I would uh, not try to cut these in half or cut them down um, because like I said they're all, the long ones are threaded only near the end so if you cut them in half there's no thread there um, unless you're using a really small one also useful are these white spacers these are nylon spacers these can be useful like if you want for some reason to uh, space two pieces of uh, C-channel a certain distance apart or whatever like that you can run a screw through them and um, sort of adjust the distance between things they're also the black spacers um, I think they come in just two, two lengths uh, 832 screw can also fit those fit through those you can um, use those also for spacing so that's pretty much it for structures just introducing the basic components uh, as you can see you have a lot to choose from but really uh, if you just stick to C channel and maybe some angle pieces or something like that and bar you can do a lot on a robot with just those types of pieces so don't freak out if you don't have all these other fancy looking strange railing type things and that um, if you just stick to the basics you can get really far with this so that pretty much sums it up thanks for watching and I hope that helps